Well, here we are at the top of the famous Ilkley Moor. Thought I'd do a piece about our vehicle and about the equipment that we use for pressure washing. Ours is a vehicle mounted setup, and I'll give you a short tour of that in a moment. The equipment was provided to us by Q Services in Ingleton, and they also took care of fitting out the vehicle for us to a very high standard indeed. The reason that we chose Q Services is that they've been in the business over 30 years, and what they don't know about pressure washing really isn't worth knowing. Let's have a look at the van. We've got a vehicle based setup, which means that everything is actually fixed to the vehicle the pressure washer, the water supply all the ancillary hoses and um, tools that we need to be able to carry out pressure washing work to clean drives, patios, um, car parks, any kind of sort of outdoor hard surface. The pressure washer is built on a Honda GX390 which is pretty much the industry standard for this kind of a setup. We're carrying over 110 meters of hose and here we've got a 500 litre water tank. What this means is that for smaller jobs at least we can actually operate independently of a water supply and for a large job we could operate up to 110 meters away from a water supply that puts us in a position where we can do very large areas very large residential properties even things like car parks and tennis courts and so on so here we've got the actual engine which is based on the honda gx390 this is attached to the interpump which in turn is attached to a um, foam and chemical delivery system which allows us to do deep cleaning work. The um, water tank is quite a beast, 500 litres and then on this roll here we've got 40 metres of high pressure hose, we've got an extra 20 metres of high pressure hose here and we've got another 10 metres in the back of the van. Delivery hose for our water supply, we're carrying over 50 metres there. We've got a stainless steel lance and all our lances and hoses are fitted with stainless steel fitments. We've got a number of different nozzles there, the turbo nozzle on the left, we've got an X-Jet nozzle, and then we've got some wider spray nozzles for washing down and so on. PPE, we've got ear defenders, obviously eye protection. All in all, it's a great setup. So let's rewind a few days. Let's go up to Q Services at Ingleton in the Yorkshire Dales, and let's see how this was all built up on the day. Q services, Q washers, eBay and YouTube. The idea is that the, um, the water tank there sits above the rear axle where it'll be, uh, the weight distribution will be um, at its best. And then in this forward area for the side doors, that will be open space that can be um, you know, set up as necessary, changing equipment as required. So this machine here, the exhaust fuse wants to be facing out, you want your primary frost valve facing out, your pipe's running this way, and now into your dual fit setup, which you can see here. Next thing we're going to think about is obviously the boiler at a later stage, maybe not now, but at a later stage if we're going on to move on to hot steam, once we've matted somewhere around here. So you want to leave that space there, maybe your pipes can run into it for now, but as long as you've got that space there, we'll move this machine as far over to this way as possible, so you can get into pull start it. You can get into your controls and you can get into the service machine if ever needed. Exactly the same with the head, exactly the same with the fittings on the front. You've got to think about fi fixing it in the future. So the next step is that Aaron's going to secure the skid to the floor of the van and then he'll be bolting the, uh, the, the pressure washer to the skid. So we've got these bushes mounted to the, uh, bolted into the floor of the van now and that's going to take the skid so all we're going to 
to do is we're going to change it around from our normal dual feed. This side's going to stay the same, apart from that pipe there, uh, the, the, the brass hose barb there is going to go back underneath the pump and circle into this, into this ball, uh, into this um, hose here. This one here, what we're going to do is we're going to put a T piece in here with um, a, a frost protection outlet here uh, with a ball valve on the front of it. And it's going to go back and into your uh, into your uh, into your hose tail there. So I'm just going to take the head off, makes life easier than having to work it into yourself in the back of the van. So what's this fitting you're putting up here then? So this one here is a dump back to tank for the uh, dump return from the unloader. So right, yeah. when you release the trigger, um, obviously your water returns back up to the top of the tank. Got you. So the way we've done it is it's going to come down this side of the baffle, right. right? There's a reason for that, and that's because from the bottom of there we're sucking, right? If I put it in the top of here and it ends up going down to the bottom, you'll have a right to go off, won't you? Yeah, exactly. So when when, when the water's up here, it's absolutely fine. But as soon as the water starts getting down low, what happens is it'll start taking air in. All you'll do is air cavitation. So, you know, long term your pump or short term your pump won't last, last as long as it should, the seals in it, um, etc. So this is what, a uh, 40 metre reel? Or a yeah, 40 metre reel, yeah. 40. 40 metre reel. If we take it through there, you get restrictions. So all we're going to do now is we're going to drill a three quarter hole through the side. Pop an elbow on it so you don't get a kink in your hose as, as you're reeling it in. So if you can see the difference between that, and that'll improve your flow rate. Yeah. Oh, dramatically, dramatically. Oh, this is looking like now, isn't it? That's the first lot of water going in. Yeah, first lot of water going in there now. So we're nearly finished with the setup. We're just draining some water out of the tank. It's all looking pretty exciting. Uh, looking forward to using it all. So there we've got the finished build. Everything in there, ready to uh, do some work. Uh, big thanks for the team at Q Services in Ingleton. Thanks very much, lads. You're welcome. Cheers. Thank you very much. Running your talk. And, uh, you know, all the advice you need is there. And uh, anyway, brilliant uh, help from Damien today. And the lads, Aaron and Ben, getting out the van. Thanks, lads. And uh, if you need any pressure washing gears, this is the team. Cheers. <laughs>